In our last fable, we took you from the ground to the air to space. In this video, in honor of the late Peter Higgs, we are going to share a groundbreaking theory. This story is about perseverance and tenacity to never give up. Have you ever thought what everything is made up of? The actual building blocks of the planet and the universe. Well, if you have, then you've been thinking about particle physics. In the world of particle physics, few names shine as brightly as Peter Higgs. His groundbreaking work paved the way for one of the greatest discoveries of modern science, the Higgs boson. So who is Peter Higgs? Well, born in Newcastle upon Tyne in 1929, due to World War II and his father's job, he moved around a lot as a child. He later found himself living in Bristol, where he attended Cotham Grammar School. It is reported that school's alumni, Paul Dirac, was one of his first inspirations, being a founder in the field of quantum mechanics. In 1946, at the age of 17, he moved to London, initially specialising in mathematics at City of London School, to then move to King's College London, where he graduated with first-class honours in physics. From here, he continued to attain his PhD in 1954 and finally settled in Edinburgh to become lecturer at the Tate Institute of Mathematical Physics. Peter Higgs was a visionary. His theories challenged the very fabric of our understanding of the universe, and he wasn't afraid to go against the grain. His perseverance and dedication to his research is truly inspiring. Higgs proposed the existence of a field permeating the universe, now known as the Higgs field. According to his theory, particles acquire mass by interacting with this field. But what does that mean? Well, fundamentally, outside of the Higgs field, all particles are massless. Photons don't interact with the field and therefore don't have mass. But then there are quarks, leptons and boson particles that all interact with the field to different degrees, which mean that they have varying degrees of mass. Higgs wrote a number of papers after a failed camping trip in the Scottish Highlands, the second of which described a theoretical model now called the Higgs mechanism. But the paper was rejected by the editors of Physics Letters who judged that it was of no obvious relevance to physics. But it wasn't long until his theories might be proven. In the heart of Europe, scientists at CERN built the most powerful particle accelerator in history. The Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, is a marvel of engineering. Its massive underground tunnel spanning over 27 kilometers, allowing particles to collide at energies never before achieved. With the LHC, scientists had the tools to explore the fundamental questions of the universe and search for the missing piece of the puzzle, the Higgs boson. In 2012, scientists at CERN made history when they announced the discovery of a new particle consistent with the Higgs boson. The ATLAS and CMS experiments had seen strong indications for the presence of a new particle, which could be the Higgs boson. In the mass region of 126 giga electron volts, speaking at the seminar in Geneva, Higgs commented, uh, for me it's really an incredible thing that has happened in my lifetime. <laughs> Ironically, this probable confirmation of the Higgs boson was made at the same place where the editor of Physics Letters rejected Higgs's paper. For his groundbreaking contributions to our understanding of particle physics, Peter Higgs was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2013. Today, Peter Higgs's legacy lives on, inspiring future generations of scientists to push the very boundaries of human knowledge and explore the mysteries of the universe. I hope you enjoyed the fable today. Do give us a like and do consider subscribing. We post every week about founder stories, design, science, design thinking, brand and digital. Thanks again and see you in the next one.